All right, guys, Francois here, Soquel Marine. Uh, this is a little tech video. Uh, I'm going to try and keep it short and to the point. Um, I'm going to just quickly go through the basic principles of timing. Uh, if you guys know all this, then just skip along. Uh, this is for the guys that just want to actually try and understand what's happening. Um, so every engine that's a four cycle engine be it a four cylinder a v6 v8 pretty much goes through the same principles um, the piston well actually the intake valve opens the piston draws down it's like a plunger sucking in the fuel and air all right and you can see as as this rotates around, it, it moves the piston up and down. First cycle is it sucks in the air and fuel, all right? And it goes down to the bottom. Then what happens is, it's at the bottom here, both of the valves close, and it goes from here up, and it compresses that mixture that it drawed in over here in a concealed chamber. This is what's called a compression stroke, right over there, okay? Just before this gets to the top, and it's measured in degrees the spark plug ignites and the reason it, it happens just before this is right at the top is because the, f the fuel takes a couple of milliseconds to burn and that's why you have to ignite it before it's at the top that's pretty much going to give you a good amount of power if you ignited it right at the top it would be too late all right and this is important because this is what we're going to be focusing on, is this event over here, the spark event. Now, when it sparks over here, notice the valves are closed and the chamber is concealed. And that explosion in a closed chamber forces this back down. And that's what drives the engine and all the other cycles of the other pistons. And then once it's come down to the bottom over here, you'll see the exhaust valve has now opened. And the piston once again pushes up and blows out the exhaust gas and then the valve closes and then it pretty much resets all the way to here the intake valve opens it draws in the fuel and air compresses it up spark at the top boom and it blows the piston back down now the reason i'm showing you these four cycles um, and what they should have drawn was a piston where it ended because this is the beginning of the intake cycle and this is the end of the compression cycle so it's a little confusing this is the beginning of the power cycle and this is also the beginning of the exhaust cycle so they kind of jumbled it around but anyways the reason i'm pointing this out is to make you understand that the piston is going to go one two three four one two three four one two three four one two three four each cylinder independently and that's important because the piston is at top on two different strokes. People call it TDC, top dead center, but the piston is at TDC twice. Once during the compression stroke, and the second one it's at the top when it's finishing blowing the exhaust out. That's very important to note because when you... I'm just going to quickly move around here so I can show you the timing pointer. All right, I'm on the other side of the engine now. And I don't know if you can see here, but what you'll notice over there is a stationary plate with a whole bunch of numbers on it. And just over there in the corner, right there, you can see a little yellow dot on the pulley. Now this part is stationary on the engine block, and that varies by engine. But pretty much, this one's so worn, I had to put a big zero where the zero was. And these are degrees before that top dead center we mentioned earlier. So it's like 2, 4, 6, 8, and 10. And that allows you to know where your firing is going to be. That's just important. And you'll see the little dot over there. That's continually spinning in circles. And the reason I'm mentioning the previous comment about there being two top dead centers is that that little yellow mark is going to be at the same position twice in the engine cycle. One while it's blowing exhaust gases out, and the other one while it's compressing the fuel and air. Okay, so I'm back on the other side of the motor. Now, bear in mind, I'm doing this example on a Mercruiser 140, 